Welcome back everybody, this is the Crazy Kirby Kid, and right now I have a couple of matches for you from a guy named Take Your Life, so we're just going to call him Take for short. But as you can see, he plays Marth, and according to the questionnaire, his best skill is adaptation. And because I'm pretty good at adaptation myself, we're going to see a really good series here where we're both adjusting to each other's game. So, Take's playstyle is aggressive or offensive, so I decided to match his playstyle with one of my own. So this entire three set battle is going to be determined by whoever can adapt and be the most aggressive throughout. So right now I'm kind of used to playing against Mars from Melee and right now I'm using a lot of the, the knowledge that I gained from playing against Marth when I was Kirby. And as you can see in this first set it doesn't really do me justice. Like, I get into a lot of situations where I am slightly thrown off because of this new mark design versus the old mark design, and I have to take a lot of information in on not only what my opponent's playstyle is, but also what the changes are between the two marks. So as you can see, I'm taking a lot of damage in this first match, and in order to get more information, even when I'm losing, I really have to pull it together and start adapting on the fly to whatever has been happening. Right there I went in for a grab but I couldn't quite make it on the other side of Mars. So I'm testing his, his what moves he does to respond when I'm in close versus when I'm far away. See right there, he likes to shield when I walk up close. And if I shield too, it's, it's kind of a wasted opportunity. So right now I'm just gathering as much data as I can. He likes to be aggressive off the stage too, so I know I can avoid him as long as I'm watching out for exactly where his position is and I can recover, but I do have to be careful. His aggressive style not only exists on the stage, but off the stage as well. So in order to beat Take, I have to develop my own particular adapted aggressive style both on and off the stage as well. So what I gathered from this first match is that the way he's playing his Marth so far, he works best when I stand still. So Marth has very quick attacks and they work best when you tip them. So a still target just makes it easier for the opponent. And as I'm learning in this match, my defensive style that I like to do so much, as you saw in the uh, other matches, is just basically giving Marth an advantage. So. In my mind right now, I'm thinking I'm going to have to be a lot more mobile in the next match. So we hit the random button and it takes us to Smashville. And right off the bat, you can see a change in my style. Incorporating a lot of rolls to just throw off exactly where he thinks I am to make him think just a little bit more. And what I should have realized was the rolls were very effective and not necessarily my spot dodges. So as you can see, I'm moving a lot more, rolling back, mixing up my air attacks both in the forward and backwards direction just to throw off his timing. I went for a jab combo there, but Mars up B is kind of a, a miracle move. And because this is Brawl Balance, Mars uncharged shield breaker attack almost destroyed my fully healthy shield, so that's kind of something that I didn't anticipate, but no worries. So now that I'm under in stock, I have to be careful about how much damage I take and exactly how I go about trying to kill this Mark. So he's still being very aggressive, and I have to use a particular defensive style to stop him. Taking a little bit too much damage, and not getting my kill moves off. So this is looking pretty bad right now. Can't quite figure out where to put in my forward smash and I can't quite figure out where to do my back air. But here's where I put all that knowledge to work. Chase him down quickly to get the kill. I'm down by a stock. So I 
take the battle to the platform just to change up everything that we've been doing so far and I got the advantage using a couple of shield grabs trying to move as much as possible shielding the dancing blade this time instead of trying to roll and spot dodge out of it he's pushing me off the side of the stage I anticipated the down air and I got a lucky kill. So now things aren't so bad, but I have to make sure I hold on to whatever advantage I can get at this point. I'm at 88 damage. So here's where it all gets put together. Right now I recognize that I can put all that knowledge together that I've been taking from even the first match and string it together into one successful uh, burst offensive as long as I get the first advantage. So here it comes. Forward air, back air, called the counter attack, did two up airs, read the air parry, and then called his up B and finished him off. And that was a lot of work trying to put together that strategy on the fly. So right now we're going to anticipate even Take adapting to what I just did in the last match. And now he's doing a, a version of his a defense to offense style where he stands still, reacting to my moves. So now I have to change my approach. Sneaking those up airs, short hop up airs into down tilts. Cutting my glide attack early, anticipating his counter attack, looping arrows all the while, keeping him distracted with arrow loops, and converting my neutral air into a forward smash. Distracting him with an arrow and getting another forward smash or an up air off. Arrow distraction and another down smash. So right there I filled the screen with a lot of different pieces of information, seeing how quickly he could react and adapt to all of the the changing game states and at every step I added another piece of information so just when if he was getting used to my arrow looping I would throw in an air attack and just when he thought he was used to one arrow I would do two arrows but now the game is quickly back to a stock of peace instead of just dropping with my shield now I'm starting to do a lot of counter attacks with my down air anticipating his forward air, trying to stay just outside of the pocket. And he's reading a lot of my air parries and getting some good damage off. Using down airs, pretending like I'm going to stand still on the ground in place, I'm quickly changing into to down airs and uh, that surprise up B killed me I was trying to arrow loop and I was DIing the wrong way right when it hit but as long as I keep on my toes I figured I have a good chance he's reading my air parries again but I just did it twice in a row and caught him off guard so now we have a close game, converting my dash away plan into a down air, running out his invincibility until just when he was vulnerable I attacked. Rolling, because that proved to be really effective in the first two games. Getting underneath his sword, force him to use a down air, but he won't, so he keeps using forward airs, and that means there's a hole in his approach. Perfect shielding his shield busters. Now my run through pivot grab works. That means I have him scared. And with the damage lead, I was planning on taking this to victory, but then another shield buster that I did not anticipate. But overall, those are three really good matches where we adapted to each other's playstyle on each turn. Thanks for watching everybody. For more information, visit criticalgaming.squarespace.com. The links are on the side. My name is Kirby Kid. It's been good. Later.